a case between a former Governor Eric Reitens and his ex-wife will be heard in Boone County tomorrow. ABC 17's Hannah Falcon is live at the Boone County Courthouse with a look at what to expect. Hannah, tomorrow's hearing will focus on some requests to possibly get phone records. Lucas, Eric Greitens and his lawyer requested the phone records of several people he claims are conspiring with his ex-wife to take down his Senate campaign. Here tomorrow, the judge will decide if these records are relevant to the family dispute and if the former governor is even allowed to request these phone records. Former Governor Eric Greitens and his ex-wife Sheena Chestnut Greitens have an ongoing family case in Boone uh, County. Awesome. But Sheena wants to move the case to Travis County, Texas, where she lives and works. Sheena alleges she and the couple's children were abused by Eric, detailing several instances of abuse in court documents. That abuse can be enough to move their family case to Texas. However, Eric claims Sheena is conspiring with several of his political opponents to lie and sabotage his Senate campaign. Campaign. Eric and his lawyer subpoenaed phone records from several people, including his former aide Austin Chambers and Sheena's sister Catherine Linkle. Tomorrow, a Boone County judge will hear arguments on whether the phone records are relevant to the case. Chambers and Linkle have filed motions saying they are not involved in the family's case and therefore should not have their phone records subpoenaed. In his motion, Chambers says he is owed money for the legal fees and that Eric is choosing to quote, use the matter in this court as a prop for personal gain in his floundering campaign for United States Senate, end quote. I'll be following this trial tomorrow and updating you on air and online. Reporting live from Columbia, I'm Hannah Falcon, ABC 17 News. All right, Hannah, thank you. Greitens' lawyer says in a statement that, quote, the only audience that matters now is the judge who approved the party's agreement and has the power to change it.